Hey peeps, prospector trip. Peace, baby. <laughs> There's my old table, the original one I was whaling on. Um, this, with all this junk sitting on it, that's gonna be my new table. We're working on it slowly but surely here. Um, one of the problems with a uh, table this small um, is it doesn't have enough surface area. It's so small that uh, you can't clean the amount of material that I really want to clean as fast as I want to clean it. If you want to clean, I don't know, two teaspoons at a time, I guess you're okay. Uh, basically, though, this one uh, is 384 square inches, this guy. But uh, the new one uh, is 3.55 times as big, so nearly four times as much surface area here uh, as the little one, which should be fairly uh, acceptable. <laughs> it, uh, you know, typically what I'd have to do is run the material uh, twice would get it fairly clean, uh, three times would get it uh, very nicely done, four times it would be very clean where you could pan it in a second hardly uh, took any time at all. But this guy, I'm hoping will be able to do it in uh, one clean shot and then maybe run the, uh, the number two or whatever the mid leans. Uh, again and see what else is in there anyway we're gluing it on there baby onto a big old hunk of piece of stainless i uh, got a nice little bit here that i can mount a few things to on the shaker table uh, i want to put a feed that's mounted right to it and of course i'll put the alignment rail along here so it doesn't uh you know twist and whatnot when it's shaking so anyway one thing at a time baby hey folks one more little peek at uh the uh shaker table i've been working on of course I showed you the big one over there. Yeah, I'm working on that one a little bit too. Uh, but made a lot of refinements to this guy here. I haven't shown you much here lately. I've been busy at work and various things. But uh, anyway, I um, I put uh, some of these little guys on here. These are a little drip edge that you can get at uh, Lowe's or at Home Depot or whatever. And uh, and anyway, I put one along here because uh, gold slinging back in here, you know. I uh, put one here. I bought these little boxes at... Uh, the dollar store for a buck a piece. I got four of them. They fit nicely in here uh, to collect the number one and the number twos. And of course, all the fluff goes down here. But uh, if you look underneath here, it's a little bit tough. But uh, almost all of the material and water, of course, comes off here and then lands in here. And then, of course, uh, what I'm going to do is mount something in here, uh, like one of my. Uh, um, one of my boxes, uh, you know, a uh, blah, 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 uh, <laughs> sleuth box and, uh, and, and sleuth this material also. I gotta put something in here and I run it out this way so I can deal with it conveniently, put it in and take it out. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's working pretty good. Uh, one of the big changes here is I bought this plastic um, tray, uh, just like that one out there, the big one. And this isn't mounted to anything though. It's just the plastic tray and it's basically just rolling on I don't know if you can see it, but it's PVC. Let me see. Oh, yeah See the PVC pipe in there. It's just rolling on three of those in here And uh, of course it rolls nicely on those to the Egyptian way, of course And uh, I put a I cut a piece of this is a roll of tape I just cut it's a nice hard plastic piece that I okay folks. I ran out of a little bit of time, but uh Anyway, I'm gonna fire this dog up just so you can see it roll a little bit here. That's basically about what I run it at here uh, now. Just stick these dogs back in here. Immediately go in there. What is that? Now I'll scoop up a little bit of material just out of the bottom so you can see it run. Anyhow, okay. Trying to knock everything over here. Yeah, it's got a little bit on the bottom. It's uh. I ain't got much gold in it. Oops, I ran it a few times, but anyway, let's see what it's got. A little bit, hopefully. Let's 
see it go here one time. So all the light stuff immediately blows down. And some of the middle light stuff is not quite so heavy or so light. Uh, got a bunch of uh, heavies going over there. That's in the number one port. It's the number two. You see a bunch more light or a little bit lighter stuff, but uh, you know, there's quite a bit of heavy material in here still. And this is the reason I need more surface area here. I tried to cheat it a little bit by going this way, and I got these guys in here to push the water back this way. As you can see, it does do that, you know, by watching the bubbles. You can see that, right? And so, anyway, forces me to have hopefully a little more surface area instead of just going straight down at an angle. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. Same old issue as before though. I run the uh, material three or four times and uh, of course the gold come out of it finally, but uh, it takes a while. It's going down like crazy. But again, the fine heavy stuff is trickling in here. Kind of hard to see, but you can see that. And then of course the middlings, they're just dumping in there like crazy. And uh, you know, if I run it slower, less material, yeah, it comes out a lot cleaner, obviously. But I want to be able to run it a little fast, you know. I don't want to have to run like 10 pounds and it takes like the whole day, you know. I want it to go a little fast. Anyway, it's been really fun. We're going to get the bigger one up and running here pretty quick. And uh, I'll show you a couple other things I did here in a minute. Hopefully this video, video is not going to be too incredibly long. Yeah, I'm going to work on a better feed system, obviously, because uh, this is excruciating. Doing it like this. And it works, but, you know, it ain't no fun. So we're getting a, a significant amount of uh, material again, just because there's a lot of heavies in there, even though it's not uh, gold, mostly. Same with the... Uh, Midlands. You see a little bit of material collected up in here, but uh, it's a lot better than slinging the gold all the way underneath it. And it uh, seems to be pretty effective. Hey anyway, man, we're cooking maybe one by one. Keep it running. <laughs> now I'll let you go. Bye -bye. A screw and a washer in there. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Has to come off from somewhere. You better get them out of there. Let him go, baby. And I feel right at home where I belong. I had that feeling coming over me again. Just like it happened so many times before. Yeah. Is like an old good friend Makes me feel warm and good inside <laughs>